Welcome back YouTube friends. What today we're going to be talking about are the propane tanks from a year ago. This is January 2020, January 2019. I took uh, propane tanks down, inspected. They've got the uh, label sticker stamps on those. I'm going to show you the date and how they were stamped, but also the problem I ran into businesses that refill propane tanks don't want to refill these propane tanks and I actually got a picture of the posting of a sign at one place that I am going to share with you and, and see what I run into in trying to get these tanks refilled and it's become quite the big hassle. Let's check out these tanks and you'll see what I'm talking about and see if you even want to fool with them just or just replace the tanks. These are the 30 pound tanks and your barbecue grill is 20 pound and I've been seeing a lot of folks just swapping out with a 20 pound tank so no matter where they go they could just swap out a tank don't worry about the date and get a new tank filled uh, is it the most cost effective no but it's, it would be the easiest to do because everybody has barbecue grills all over this country and it's easy just to pick up a tank swamp it out but uh, these 30 pound tanks they you're looking at $75 each, best price I've found to replacing these tanks. But hopefully, uh, stand by, hopefully this will make sense to you. Then you can decide on what you want to do with your RV or camper on these bigger size propane tanks. Well, it's one year later giving you an update on the propane tanks and looking at the date stamp on propane tanks. 10 years after the date, you got to get the tanks inspected and stamped. And if we look uh, on this tank, it's 4 of 06. This one's 4 of 08. So, and 04 of 18, that would need to be checked. This was back in 16. And off of the last video, I had shown you, I got them certified from the gas company, propane gas company here in Nashville, and they put these stickers on, and there's a couple different stickers there to recertify them. But I'm gonna show you a picture where they saying the sticker is not good at some of these places to get refilled, and they want it physically stamped back into the steel, just like all of this stamping that's right here. So you're taking your chances on a hit or miss if you need your propane tanks filled up that you may just end up replacing your tanks and avoiding this altogether. It's kind of silly. You could tell that these tanks are still in good shape. But um, anyway, I went ahead and replaced both tanks with brand new tanks. And uh, actually the best price I found was at Tractor Supply. Well, that's a wrap on the propane tanks, the information that I have put together for you to decide on what you want to do about propane tanks for your RV camper in the future. Uh, check out the dates, what date is stamped on your propane tank, when does it go out of date, how many years you have with that new propane tank, but the issues that I have run into in trying to get these tanks filled or refilled um, after getting them certified with a sticker. I do have to say it was the, the, the first place uh, they said that we no longer fill the propane tanks with the stickers on them. For some reason they think anybody can just grab a sticker, stick it on there and, and say that it's, it's recertified. What they were saying and it had, had to actually be physically stamped. Uh, I guess with a metal working stamp to prove that they were recertified tanks and uh, from the beginning video I just went to tractor supply company bought tanks $75 each took that uh, headache off my plate so I can get back to RV camping and not worry about at my next stop do I have to have uh, am I gonna get my propane tanks filled or not but anyway Hopefully this will help somebody out there and uh, appreciate you watching our channel. Stay tuned and we got more videos coming your way. Thank you and God bless.